Ah, good morning, boys and girls. Ah, good morning, boys and girls. Good morning. Oh, there we are. Welcome to another episode of Mr. Tom's Neighborhood. It's me, the real Danny. Danny with two N's. Hashtag the real Danny. Follow me on Twitter. And we're here today for another episode and another Bible lesson. We're still in the Old Testament, and this week we're studying about Ruth. Ruth was a great helper of people. One of the things that she did was she helped out her mother-in-law, Naomi. And then Boaz helped her later, so a lot of helping going on. We're going to hear from Glugi and Paxton and see if we can help Paxton learn how to help other people. All right, enjoy, and we'll come back and learn more about Ruth. Ah, oh boy, all right. Here we are with Paxton. Say hi, Paxton. Hi. Paxton has some important decisions to make, so we're going to help him. Okay, so Paxton is walking down the street, and he sees a lady that needs help across the street. Should he, A, make her fall down, B, help her cross the street, or C, call her a silly name? Boys and girls, what should he do? Um, hope. The lady across the street. Yeah, help the lady across the street, Paxton. You should help her across the street. Oh, yeah, that's a good Paxton. You're such a helper. Okay, so Paxton's still walking down the street, and he sees someone sitting all alone. Oh, look, look, there, they're all alone. Should he, A, go over and sit next with the person and talk to them? B, Throw a banana cream pie in the face. <laughs> or C, call them a silly name. Boys and girls, what should Paxton do? Um, sit by him and talk. Yeah, so, oh, that's good. He should go sit by them and talk. Yeah. Oh, that's so nice. That's so happy. Good job, Paxton. Okay, so Paxton, he's a, such a big helper. He's helping all kinds of people. Okay, Paxton walking down the street. And he sees this person coming, and they look very different than him. They have different hair, and different skin, and different clothes, and they talk different. Should he, A, make fun of them and say, hey, why do you look so funny? B, stop and talk to them and learn about them. Or C, call them a silly name. What should they do? Um, ask about them. Yeah, you should ask and see what the what's the all about because you know what? They probably think passing this city too because they're just different. We're all different people. Oh, that's so good. Look at that good conversation. Wow, that's great. Paxton, did you learn something about that person? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's great. So Paxton, Paxton's such a good helper. He helped the lady across the street and he sat and talked to that other lady. And he learned about somebody that was different than him. Well, that's great. Boys and girls, you should try those things this week. All right, thanks, Paxton. Bye-bye. Wow. Paxton had lots of important choices to make. And thankfully, we had someone to help him make those choices. You see, you can be a helper in all kinds of situations. See, Ruth was married to a man, and then that man passed away. But she stayed with her mother-in-law, Naomi, because Naomi needed help. Even though Ruth was from a different country, she didn't know the people, but she stayed with Naomi to help her. And then later in life, Ruth needed some help, and Boaz came to help her and married her. And then later, throughout the generations, she became an ancestor of David and then of Jesus. So she became an important lady. Wow. So you can look for ways to help people. Just like Ruth helped Naomi. And Boaz helped Ruth. You can find ways to be a friend. Help your mom and dad out. Even help your brother and sister maybe. I know that may be hard. But you can do it. I know you can. Alright. Look for ways to help people this week. Remember Ruth. Remember how she helped other people. And we'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye.